Okay, so we killed the nice soothing sound that put all these puppies to sleep. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us for It's a Wrap. Um, uh, today I have with us again, we have Jen here from the board who can answer some of your questions. So if you have any, please send them over. Um, let's see, so as you saw, the puppies have been outside. They've been working really hard about being cute. Uh, we have moved the camera that will show the teepee, seeing how we're no longer using the teepee area, over to the Honeymoon Hill so you'll be able to see the dogs um, playing, eating, running up and down the hill, just being fun little puppies. Um, and you'll also be able to see them do the puppy run. It's not even a march, it's not a walk, it's a run from the ice building, usually led by Tracy, um, who is the pup, pup, pup. Oops. <laughs> very, very well done, um, going over to Honeymoon Hill and back, so that is awesome. Um, what's been going on this week? Let's see, so we did have a group here, an international group that came um, and was helping Sarah work on some fencing that we were hoping to be the puppy um, fencing, however we didn't have enough fence where we wanted it, which was up by the camera on Puppy Hill. Um, therefore, we kind of have to scrub that project and just use the Honeymoon Hill for this litter of puppies um, because we don't have enough fence to um, have an area big enough that will support all 12 pups um, that won't interfere with the bigger pup, the bigger dogs. Uh, let me see, John went and did a presentation over at Masco. He did the second round of um, the presentations over there. So that went really well because we will have a um, one of our young students uh, going into middle school, which is um, very exciting. I have another one coming up in August to do, and that will be the final one until he gets into school. Um, we also went to uh, Doyen Elementary School, which is located here in Ipswich. Um, it was a Rotary Club. It had a bunch of students there, about 50 people. And Haley was over there with one of the dogs. Um, take uh, Pictures were taken, so we'd be sure to have um, an update on that on the newsletter that will be coming out soon. And, um, yeah, she just did a presentation there. What we do, who we are, what we do, what our dogs do, um, how will they help us, etc. Um, and then on Friday, we actually had four sixth graders here with their chaperones from Topsfield Proctor School. Um, it was called um, Work Day. So they asked if they can bring in some students. We would put them to work for a couple of hours to get them used to this type of an environment to see um, these are kids that are interested in animal, possibly animal science later on in life. And they came, they helped out with some dogs, they helped out. I believe it was a little bit of grooming, kennels, um, just kind of a, a plethora of little um, areas of the organization where they got to get their feet wet in. So they, they had a lot of fun on doing that. And yesterday, um, John brought, who was it, I think it was Riker, over to the Topsfield Historical Society has their Strawberry Festival, which has lots and lots and lots of people over there eating strawberries, strawberry shortcake, etc. Um, and brought Riker through there to get him exposed to groups of people, um, sounds, there were vendors there, there was music happening, etc. And he was very, very, very good there. Um, so John did share a picture with me. I haven't even looked at it yet, so I will be sure to get that um, up on our, um, our social media and hopefully also on Explore for everybody to view. And that is about it. The dogs had. Oh yes, yes. yes. Well, I haven't, haven't got. Oh. The dogs <laughs> had their worming last Sunday. They had their C5, which is another um, part of their parvo preventative, um, distemper, etc. And they were weighed today, so it is known now that our little scale is no longer going to support <laughs> these guys. Um, nor will the little box that they had them in, that's not <laughs> going to support them either. So they have, have graduated up to the big boy and big girl scale, which is the floor scale that we put the big dogs on. We may still have to put them in some sort of a um, 
container to keep them still, um, but they have graduated to the big scale now. And over here are the weights, so please zoom in on that and see how big these guys have gotten. It's, it's just, a, it's crazy how they can gain four or five pounds. Um, <laughs> Our, our smallest one is what? Pearly, who is still over 20 pounds. So not bad for them. They just turned, <laughs> they just turned nine weeks old and I don't know how he can be comfortable. No idea. <laughs> um, so that is what's been happening around here so far. So let me know if you have any questions and I have to still tune into Tune in, so give me a second here. And in the background, you're gonna hear Casper. Casper's here to get his nails done today, and he was here to visit, so he is, um, his mom is in here right now, so he's a little bit angry that he's not with mom. <laughs> okay, oops, here we go. Okay, here we go. It's a rap sound it is on. So Bio BC said, great puppy run, Tracy. Mm -hmm. You go, girl. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Crafty wants to know, can you give information on the upcoming court hearing this week? Unfortunately, it's not something that we are ready to discuss, but when we have some more details, we're absolutely going to go ahead and do that. Um, Crafty says, any updates on place service dogs and pets? Um, who d oh, I did hear of the passing of one of our service dogs, um, Dryer. He was nine years old, um, as far as I know. Crafty, you would probably know better. Um, I got a phone call from his handler, and he was at the emergency clinic um, kind of looking for our permission to um, go ahead and put him um, to sleep because of the extent of the injury. So that is unfortunately, I did have um, that bad news. Um, let me see, who have I? I've heard from quite a few recipients. Um, Harry is doing great. Um, he is up there in age. He's, what, 10? Pretty close to 10, if not already 10. Um, let me see, who else? Who else have I heard from? Mm. We have some people um, I heard from, and it wasn't this week, it was a little while ago, I heard from Blaine, who has Nora. They're doing wonderful. Um, Nora is looking to retire, but not for another year or so, so she's just kind of on, on um, have her on, him on the successor list that we um, have her, a list of, um, but she's not she's not ready yet now. Um, and then as far as perfect pets out there, um, I potentially have a home for Sandy. We're just um, we're working on her getting used to um, this woman and see how that goes. And then the final test will be Sandy going to see how Sandy does with her cats. So. We don't have cats here, nor am I bringing my cats here um, to see how Sandy does. So, unfortunately, we can't um, we can't do that. Oh, a lot more. All right, I'm lost here. All right, I'm just gonna go backwards. So that was Sandy's future. New York to a kennel camera is awesome. Thank you and thank you to whomever moved it. So that would be your hubby, Chuck. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we figured we would have it over there so you could see the puppies, especially whereas we're using the High Moon Hill um, right now. It needed to be tightened and then when they got up there to see if they could just go ahead and tighten it. They found out that there was stripped screws, etc. So while we had to take all those out and redo it, we might as well move it um, to an angle that I think you guys would enjoy. Looks good. Uh, Crafty wants to know when the pups will start their one-on-one -on -one training. Um, that is coming up very, very quickly. So they had their second C5, so now they can do a little bit more car riding that Haley has been great about doing. Um, and we'll be able to start utilizing some of these side kennels over here to put 
the litter in or maybe bring one over, do some one-on-one -on -one training here and then bring the dog back over to Honeymoon Hill for them to play and grab another one. Um, it's good to have them exercised and not as wild um, to get the training done, but you can't train a dog that is exhausted. Mm -hmm. So it'll be um, trial and error for a little bit until we have the exact correct timing. As you can see, Sharon was lovely enough to clean out a little bit of area here and the puppies puppies are using the doggy door. They may not use it all the time, but they're getting there. In fact, I heard this morning that as soon as they walked over to the doggy door, the puppies were right there, ready to go, of which all 12 tried to fit through that doorway all at once, which was not a, um, not a successful thing. <laughs> Um, how often will Capri come to visit her pup? So she is going to actually be coming when Sharon comes to do the overnights. Um, Sharon may even bring Mandy. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but it's very interesting because Capri is now finally disciplining Mandy, which she should have done oh, way back when. Oh. Um, so interesting. Yeah, and Capri still doesn't like people in here when you know she has her selected people. Doesn't like people in here when her pups are here. Um, let me see, got six more. Crafty asks, could you get a picture of Casper? He is the last remaining chuppy from the Chaos Jasper 2012 litter. Excuse me. Yes, we'll get a picture of him and post it. <laughs> He's doing really great. Um, he's just loving retirement and uh, he has us trained. <laughs> yes, he has us trained <laughs> for his nightly ham and all his, you know, little quirks that he has. <laughs> and he, I found out today he doesn't like baths. He does not like baths, no. He gets a bathroom bath, which is just basically a sponge bath. Um, and he's very good for that, but he's, yeah, he's not a huge fan. And his other favorite thing is to drink out of the hose. So I had um, some friends over and they had little kids and the son is about four and he was just loving life, just holding that hose for Casper to come over and drink out of it about 145 times. So <laughs> he loves it. He kept them both out of trouble. That's right. <laughs> oh. Okay, we get a message from Cammie that pups look fantastic. Thank you for all you do. Do you still use the Deagle House? Uh, we actually do. We use um, Kennel One in Deagle, and we use it because of the big field that it has and then the big hill that it has. So we will walk dogs up on a daily basis. The, um, sometimes we swap them out. Sometimes we, the, um, the dogs are up there until it's time to come back down at around 3, 3.30 um, to prepare for their evening dinner. Indy Dunes, thinking of all of you hoping for a good resolution so STP can continue to change the lives of recipients, volunteers, and camera watchers. Thank you, Indy Dune. Yep, thank you. Uh, Crafty, I knew you'd know this, Crafty. <laughs> um, sad to hear about Dryer from the Opal and Grommies. Um, Pokies, they were born September 10th, 2015. Um, was Dreyer in an accident? Dreyer was um, in an accident um, which involved a, it was, it involved a hill. <laughs> That's all I, I can say on this. I think that Dreyer was probably running around like a crazy boy, um, a lot like what Gabby does. Doesn't act their age and he ended up getting hurt. Yeah. And Fluffy said, uh, the puppies look wonderful. Is Capri going to take anyone with her? As far as I know, yes. Which one? I could say it's going to be this one and turn out it's not. It's that one. The one, of course, Boom was Capri's favorite. Is Boom Sharon's favorite? I don't know. So until, um, until Sharon tells us, it's going to be um, our guess is as good as yours. <laughs> Um, bio says, what age do dogs get frontline? Um, so they do offer frontline. I believe the lowest is for a 28 pound dog. Um, so it's probably going to be later. This, well, gaining five pounds. <laughs> so I'm going to say in the next two weeks, they should be 
at that level, um, of which we will need to grab some front line probably just for that week because it's going to go up very quickly. Um, and so there's no problem with putting it on puppies. It's no, there's, there's no age limit, just right. a weight limit. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So um, I will, I'll be ordering some of that or I'll be updating the wish list because there's a few other things on there that I thought and some things that we can take off, like they're no longer on goat's milk, so that can go away too. Um, Crafty says Harry is 11 years old, born March 20th of 2012. His brother Patrick also made his 11th birthday. Nice. It always amazes me how much information the CPs have. <laughs> and they're so quick about it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, <laughs> hook em horns. That's for my shirt. That's right. Hook em. Right. <laughs> <laughs> NK, so my font on my is huge. So this could actually say Texas. Oh, <laughs> not sure. I just get a T out of it. There you go. Uh, Fluffy wants to know how long do they work as service dogs usually? Usually, um, seven, we see them around seven, eight. Um, but there have been some that have been working even lo longer than that, so it all depends. They tell their handler, they start slowing down, they start not really wanting to get dressed, um, you know, napping a little bit longer than, you know, not as enthusiastic about getting up and going. Um, and some actually still want to get up and go, but they, you know, they're just not focusing, they lose their focus, etc. So that's usually signs of we need to stop thinking about retiring and see what happens. That is so cute. That's adorable. <laughs> oh, okay, Crafty that. said that this week, 16th, is the 11th birthday of the BP litter with Willow and Lola still around. That's awesome. And one more comment. Uh, so Joe, I uh, apologize again, my font is so big, it's, it looks like it's Joe 33, but there could be more to it. Um, how many adult dogs are there and how long does it take before they go to someone as a service dog? Usually around 18 months is when they go um, and get graduated. We have a few that are just about ready, we have a few that just needs a little bit more maturity. Um, more traffic w walking, you know, walking around the, uh, along the roads. Um, they seem to have a, a real issue, some of them, with just traffic, the noise of traffic, cars coming up behind them, um, you know, them with the swivel heads. So they're just going to have to do a lot of walking um, and just parking it on the side of a, a highway and just letting the cars go by. Yeah, and you're going to be working with them too, right? Yes. So for some of those. Um, just those few things that they need to work with. Yeah, so, so, I, yeah. so I sat with the trainers the other day and we actually looked at who we have left and is there anything in particular that this particular dog needs? This one, this one, this one. And it's all written down so we can really focus and hone in on those and get them out um, as quickly as we can. Uh, Archie says, do you expect Sharon will take a male dog or a female and future mom maybe? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I, I'm sorry. I would love to answer that question. I, I don't know. Um, can't answer that. Hey, Crafty says, well, thank you for another great update. Thank you very much, Crafty. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for um, asking questions. Do um, you have anything else? No. Just thank you very much for your support. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. And thank you to Tracy for all the... Pop, pop, pop. Thank you, Tracy. Anytime anyone wants to come and run for me, they can. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes. They're getting faster than me, though. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, we saw a little trip up there. <laughs> but you didn't go down, so it was all good. Yeah, doing good. Yeah. Get my exercise. There you go. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. And uh -oh, that's a wrap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Their cuteness is killing me. <laughs> just like babies. <laughs> oh, you just woke them. I know Ani Jen just woke you up with that sneeze. Jen needs to sleep with them now. Casper, he's so ridiculous.